again from Idaho. Today has been really, really smoky. There have been a lot of fires uh, to the west of us, neighboring states, and we can't even see our mountains. Usually they're just, just right there. And it's just, the sun is very orange and it, it feels like autumn. It, it's kind of a strange feeling. I'm gonna try to sneak past this sprinkler so it doesn't get me. <laughs> We actually haven't watered for, for gosh, a week and a half until today. I've done a lot of work in the garden. Let me show you some of it. Say hi to the ducks first. Hi, Jim. <laughs> They're just waiting for me to feed them. <laughs> It's a lot of new mouths to feed. 12 new babies. Wow, and, and they eat quite a bit, actually. Okay, I better get them fed before doing anything else. So I'll head back under the clothesline. Towards the house. Past the pile of kitties. What do you think? I think these kitties are, hi. <laughs> I think these kitties are a little bit too big to be nursing. <laughs> Though. Can, you can hand it to him. The baby ducks? Uh-huh. Hold the chickens. Go away. <laughs> can you hold it up high? I don't yeah. want them to oh, peck sure. me. Hey, what happened to your hair today? I dyed it. You certainly did dye it. <laughs> this is supposed to be what they called metallic blue. Yep. It turns out that it's <laughs> black. pretty much just black with like blue and highlights in the sun. Yep. Maybe. I'll show you in the light. Okay. Time to feed the ducks. Why are the chickens out? Why? Chickens and kitties oh. are all following you. Okay. See, she just wants food. Good job. That's usually what they want. Mm -hmm. Hi, chicken. <laughs> Let's go. <sighs> okay, you want to put it in? Uh, no. Okay. The ducklings. <laughs> yeah, see if I can coax. These little ducks. Okay, well, it's not gonna work. Okay. From the way they're acting, you'd think they've never fed them before. We, feed, we do feed them lots. <laughs> and they're free range, they have all the bugs they could eat, and plenty of grass and worms. But they, they do like their, their regular feed. <laughs> Okay. Oh, there's one more. There we go. Can okay, you go? Just, I could go all the way in. Mm -hmm. All right. Good job. Good job, chicken. Oh, your hair definitely is bright and shiny out here. Yep. <laughs> bye bye. Love you. Thanks for helping. I actually found today that there is a gopher that's alive and well, unfortunately. Um, I don't like using poison around the chickens or near the garden, but something has to be done. They've completely, well, almost completely destroyed our, our potato crop for this year. Um, I don't know, we'll, we'll get a little bit if we can stop them now but not nearly what we want. Really, when it comes to self-reliance, those potatoes are our most valuable asset. So poison is uh, <laughs> the next line of order in this war against these, these gophers. I put the, the poison down here. Let's see, that's, that's dangerous. The chickens are interested. But it does look like these gophers have been eating it. And hopefully, um, it won't, soon we won't have a gopher problem. We'll see. 
All right, so I'll just dig it out, clean it out a little bit more, and replace the poison block. I've decided to go with another line of defense. In addition to the poison, I'm just gonna set a trap in there, let it ride in line with their, their pathway, and see if one of them just trips on it. Actually, that'd be ideal, because then I'd know for sure that we got one. Watch out, kitties. The trap is set. Cardboard is on top. I'll lightly put some dirt on there, and and we'll be good. I'll check on it in a couple hours. <laughs> All right. Now to see what the garden's doing. You can kind of see evidence of that gopher hole uh, over here. Went over to the onions, went under a whole bunch of the onions, and then came up over there. It killed several. frustrating and it is definitely making its way over towards the potatoes. These onions are a variety called copra, C-O-P-R-A. I had never heard of them before this year. They're supposed to store for 10 to 12 months and that's an unheard of amount. Oh, getting wet. But we have yet to find out if they're yummy or not. They smell good but we haven't tasted them yet. Hello Lizzie. <laughs> Here we have some crookneck squash. We've been eating crookneck and um, zucchini for the past few nights. Chop them up and steam them in a pan. And once they get soft, we'll put shredded cheese on them. And oh yeah, a little bit of salt in there too. And they're just delicious. Just uh, me checking on things in the garden. Got dirt on my face now. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna go in and see what everybody else is up to now. I'm making some earrings and I'm going to sell them at this market. I am. I have a Ko-Fi shop. I'm going to. Um, put them on my Ko-Fi shop. K-O-F-I? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> and what's my Ko-Fi shop called? Bunny Bear, Bunny Bear Cafe. Cafe. Yeah, Bunny Bear Cafe. <laughs> so these hamsters these so cute. with hearts, mushrooms with stars, and these cute strawberries with these diamonds that are green to just match it and the starfish with the raindrop because um <laughs> it's the sea so i did a raindrop and these cameras and you take pictures of flowers so i did flowers Makes sense. these They're little, so tiny. they are stud earrings so like you glue them those are stars and raindrops, hearts, and flowers. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> it was fun making them. Yeah. Like weather. I am making earrings and then video it so the back of it. So let's get started. I'll put the link to her YouTube channel below and also that uh, Ko-Fi. Thing. I don't know much about it other than that's where she where she sells uh, her, her earrings. So those links are below. All right, I'm gonna head out here for a minute. I've been making a frame 
a wooden frame for one of my paintings that I sold. Ooh, look at this. This is what we're going to be putting on our bathroom floor. It took us years and years to find the right one. Uh, anyway, it's not exciting. And we'll, we'll finally have a finished bathroom. Okay, well, I can do that frame later, but it uh, looks like it's dry enough to continue with that project. does play piano, but he usually composes on on the computer. On a keyboard, MIDI keyboard. Yeah. And then I just did these. Oh. I like this one a lot. This one I wish I hadn't done outline oh. with black ink. I wish I had just done pencil like this one. Oh. Um, Colored pencil outline is really fun. You should try that. Lizzie's a really good artist. She's become extremely good. And it's uh, just proof, again, that uh, for anybody who works at anything, you get better and better at whatever you practice at doing. Well, I'm gonna finish my frame that I had started earlier today. And I'm gonna check on the cows and I'll show you more of them and what's going on with the pastures in the next few days. But for now, thanks for joining us and uh, we'll see you real soon. Bye.